Hello and good evening. Hello, good folks. Hi. Hi. What's up? Uh, all right. Uh, hopefully, everyone can hear us. Uh, we've got some people in the chat. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's us. Hey. <clears throat> so, uh, welcome back once again to Hecate's Dungeon. We're going to be playing some Dungeons and Dragons, uh, continuing the Princes of the Apocalypse campaign. Uh, in which our heroes investigate strange elemental disturbances. But right now they're in some random cave fighting skeletons. Because uh, that's totally relevant. To yeah, we've me. lost the plot a bit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a filler episode. It, it's, yeah, I mean, there are a few Probably. kind of filler episodes to get you up to uh, up to level 3, because otherwise you would get super dead. Um, We're already then, almost super dead in anyway. Your case, in your case, I think it's more like going to be level 2.5 or something, because you had such a big party early on. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you are in this dungeon, uh, belonging to who knows, but it's full of undead, and you... Last week you killed some uh, zombie thespians, um, and then you killed some more zombies, and you killed some disembodied hands, and you killed some skeletons, and Hauser almost died, because rocks <laughs> fell on him, and then he ran, a, ran full tilt against some skeletons. And wouldn't let anybody heal him. I, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> sure you did, buddy. Clearly I not. Had a sure. plan. That's what people who don't know what they're doing say. Well, now we have to deal with two skeletons later. Yeah, you made them run away. <laughs> Further uh, into the cave as opposed to out in the sunlight. Yeah. It's it's fine. It's not Minecraft. They don't just get <laughs> destroyed by sunlight. Yeah, but they would be out of the way. <laughs> I think you're confusing skeletons and vampires. Oh, skeletons, vampires, they both have... Oh, same thing. Yeah, more or less. What, Zombies. What, what was that, what was that gonna end with, Corey? What I don't know. They both have gonna end with? They both have bones? Both undead. Yeah, they both have bones. <laughs> that is true. They both, they both crave for a fluid, which is do to they... say vampires want blood and skeletons want milk. Do they, do they both have bones? Milk? Or yeah, milk for the bones. Make them nice hey, and strong. Hey, hey, Corey, do they both have bones to pick with the living? Ah, oh. you brought it back around. Thank you. To be fair, all of those things could also apply to, like, me. <laughs> <laughs> you want bones, blood, milk, and have a bone to pick with humans? Yeah. Yeah. No, have, have bones, need a fluid, and have a bone to pick with the, the living. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Everything makes sense now. <laughs> the conspiracy has been revealed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> what do you guys want to do? Uh, you're currently in this corridor, there's, or rather in this uh, workshop area, uh, with this bench full of, like, tools for, like, it looks like they're, they're used for, like, taking bodies apart and like that kind of thing um to check on where we were in the thing so this was the workshop area uh so it's an enormous cavern it's illuminated by several guttering torches set in sconces on the wall uh ceilings 40 feet up um and there are some uh human corpses on the tables behind you um, and you can see a stone staircase here leading to a little peephole. You can see into the room with the treasure chests that uh, you got hit by a trap in earlier. And you can see the lever that's been pulled over here as well. Um, and you can see that there's this, uh, like, rough hewn stone table that's kind of being hewn out of the rock holds saws, knives and other tools and then there is a passageway leading off this way up ahead of you which is where the skeletons ran off to after you turned them wonderful we could take a short rest Ooh. Yeah. I like that plan that is a good plan 
That would oh. also give Whisper time to find us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, as a note on the ta on the stone counter with the tools, there are also a couple of jugs, uh, and also everything on that table is surprisingly clean. It's like spotlessly clean. Really, like like the table's been polished, and all of the tools are like freshly cleaned and things. It's quite surprising. Does it hmm. does it look less like it's been used and more like it's been put there for dramatic effect? Um, it would be hard for you to tell. I mean, you can roll an investigation check. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. I'll just click my investigation, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yep. I will say, the fact that there's a jug that's even there and clean is kind of disconcerting to begin with. Mm. Yeah, um, right. I'm gonna cast uh, Detect Magic, sort of okay. just over that work table, see if anything sort of kicks off an alarm, mentally okay. speaking. Uh, there is nothing inherently magical about this table, or any of the objects on it. On closer inspection, it appears that one of the jugs contains water. It looks like clean, fresh water. And the other one contains grain alcohol. I'm going to pocket that. All right. <laughs> you just straight up steal. <laughs> just pour it into your pocket. Uh, it, it looks like they're embalming tools. Uh, so there are saws, knives, awls and embalming tools and metal bowls and uh, you have taken the jug of grain alcohol so please feel free to add that to your inventory thank you very much so now that we have someone who has the capability of getting super dang drunk <laughs> actually we have that grain alcohol and we have a brewer so this is a really good combination isn't it <laughs> Most definitely. Party time. <laughs> the worst time to party. In the middle of a cave when we're going what to be beset by skeletons. Because <laughs> the skeletons, they might come back at some point now that they're not afraid. Who knows? Ultimately, yes. the best time to party. <laughs> yeah, I guess like party until you meet your death or something, huh? Depends on your point of view. So I guess we're going to have a short rest. I'm, I'm um, in favor of that. Personally. Let's sit down and get Hoser healed up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, bastard. <laughs> well, I spent ten minutes casting Detect Magic, so I'm not going to be able to do a short rest. So what I'll do is I'll sort of po <laughs> put myself up here with the uh, cannon ready in case the uh, skeletons come back while everyone's resting. All right. Um, so you, uh, those of you who aren't on watch, uh, settle down for our of rest. Um, so if you want to roll any hit dice, uh, feel free to roll those. Um, Let's see. I have one. Wait, do I have more than one since I'm level two now? Do I have You have your yes. hit dice. Yes, you should all have two hit dice. I will use one of these and that's my hit dice. Nice. Oh, decent. I'm a sorcerer. My hit die is 1d6. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Saucer is a D. I think yep. this is a saucer of D6. I did. I did mean to use. Oh wait, both. yeah. I can't just click the thing that says hit. Of course. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that puts me up to Works. 17. Mhm. Mm Not bad. Up. Uh, I need to turn. Hey, I'm. Um... I'm doing really well now. Yeah, after using both of your hit dice. <laughs> Not bad. You got sort of brutalized. Do any of you regain anything after a short rest? I regain my channel divinity. Um, I don't think I regain... regain my pool of lay hands, I believe. Let me see. I might yeah. regain sorcery. Rest, I, think it. Um, I think you have the option. Don't you have the option, or is that a third level? <clears throat> um... Wait, it's a long rest. Crap. Testing. Uh, Most oh, things no. are long I, um, rest. I do long rest for sorcery yeah. points. Okay. Ah. 
two sorcerer spells. Is it long? Long rest. Long, long rest. Damn it. Probably long rest. Most spell slots only come back after a long rest. Yeah, I think warlocks yeah, are the only ones with short yeah. rest. Oh well. Uh, so, is it no wizards can get wizards can get one back on a short rest as well? Yeah, that's the arcane recovery thing. Uh huh. Uh, so yep, there we are. No spell slots for me. <laughs> Presumably, whisper wanders in at some point. Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's, oh yeah, whisper. That's partially oh, why we did this. This other party yeah. member. Whisper, you you are right outside the cave here, um, and you can see like the the footprints of everyone leading into the the cave. Uh, so meanwhile, Whisper is down here. Lauren, can you see where you are? Yep. I wish I could see. All where right. I was. So here's where Whisper is. Um, you can see a little lake hide. I don't even know. Oh. If his health has been tented. <laughs> it's a little hidden. Oh yeah, he's kind of hidden. That's fine, it's kind of funny though. Uh, yeah, he takes an arrow and um, stumbles back a bit, looking a little shocked to have actually been shot by somebody, and sort of looking fierce and pissed off, like, YOU DARE TO SHOOT ME! Yes, evidently. Insolent <laughs> elves. Uh, I have an, I have a lot more hours here, so uh, I'd be slightly careful of uh, what you're saying. <laughs> okay, uh, whether that's anything else you want to do, you can probably hide back there somewhere. You could hide behind the curtain, even. <laughs> Become the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's hide behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the rogue behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in Hamlet, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> yep. Yep. Nope. Poor guy got stabbed. Okay. Um, and spoilers. Roll a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers for a centuries-old play. Yeah, I mean, it's it's only like 300 years old. I was going to get around to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, still check. Just so I've got something to. Okay. Uh... Is it me you want to do a stealth check? Yes, please. Okay. Because you're right. hiding. Sneak, sneaky. Damn. Sneaky, okay, sneak. that's, that's going to be tough, isn't it? Oh, spot. yeah, sneaky, sneak. Sneaky, sneak. Okay. Yeah, that means that his uh, passive perception won't spot you. He'd only be able to see if he was actively looking. Okay. Gunnar. So Gunnar looks at Ren and says, Right, give me one good reason why I shouldn't be launching this thing over here, over that man over there. Because we don't know what it does and it can explode and kill us all! Hmm, <laughs> it's a very evaluative look on his face. And then she kind of sips his head and says, Fine, fine. And instead... Depends on the radius of the explosion. ...chooses to do a chaos bolt. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh. Uh... Um, that is unfortunate. That's funny. Yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, not enough to hit him. Did my proficiency oh, not boy. get added? Well, oh well. Uh, <laughs> oh, it says prof plus 14 plus gunner earth weaver weapon. Yeah, I think it's set up. It said there was no attribute found yeah. for the proficiency, so it might have hecked oh. up. That's okay. I'll just take that one on the face. Yeah, you you would quite hit him anyway, even with proficiency bonus. I'll accept my bad luck. All right. Sorry. Oh. You've been having some bad luck. Oh God. Sorry. Alexa just like said sorry in the background, and whoa. Uh, stop! I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Don't light up like that. <laughs> Alexa, order tons of creamed corn. Thankfully, you're on headphones, so you can't do that. Uh, God, that scared the shit out of me. I for one welcome that new robot overlord. <laughs> Go on. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, okay, uh, it's time for Learns Rock. Um, 
Oh, ah, he come on. like he's a superstar. It's amazing. Yeah. Is, uh, uh, all you got. Would he? Would his turn oh. be passed because he held a turn earlier, or? Uh, no, that was his turn from right. earlier. Okay. This whole thing. I wasn't super okay. sure. Okay. Uh. Oh man, Hoser. Oh. <laughs> you picked a bad uh. place to stand. Ah, I picked exactly where I want to stand. When you die. <laughs> Uh, was my was my movement completely stopped? Was I uh, prevented uh, from moving forward no, no, anymore? No, you can move forwards. Okay, that's all I want. All I, I just want to be within five feet of him. <laughs> I just want to be all up in his face. You just want to be next to him <laughs> like the police, huh? Next to you. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no way I can I know protect him with my shield from I, this distance. So once again, that. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. Right. You're, You're just not going to tell us. Um, I'll explain. Okay. After also, you guys. Since you're up in his face, he can't really cast any of his ranged spells. So he's gonna go with. Hmm. Uh. He's trip, gonna headbutt you. Stabbing him in the face. <laughs> that would be hilarious. The wizard headbutts you. <laughs> I mean, does if he's carrying a knife, he could probably take Hazer out. <laughs> Uh, hang on, his options are... Wait, one of those is an elemental evil spell, isn't it? This is an elemental evil campaign, so it has... Oh, or maybe it isn't an... Ele... I thought that spell was... Uh... Okay, I guess it's a regular... Oh my god, I'm juggling three different books right now. <laughs> <laughs> the impressive book juggler. Kate Holden! <laughs> oh, that's going on my CV. <laughs> <laughs> An impressive book juggler, as proclaimed in yeah, this stream. Like, just, just gonna strike off, like, nine published games in favor of really good at juggling big books. Am I your okay. reference now? <laughs> yep. Alright, uh, mark me down, I'll give you my contact. Okay. Ooh, this is all oh, right. He's gonna cast, attempt to cast Chill Touch. Oh, oh. 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 Um, let's son. see if Hoser gets knocked out. Oh boy, son. He rolled a critical miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does he just freeze himself? Oh, I no. don't think that should carry any consequences. Not unless he rolled like two in a row, and then I don't yeah. know if you can hit yourself a spell. Yeah, no, the second one's not. Um, yeah, it's not the the Farage, Farage the ogre again, who actually did roll two ones in a row <laughs> <laughs> and hit himself with a club. Uh, but no, he. Uh, he attempts to, but you're too kind of up in his face, he can't concentrate on the spell, and it kind of fizzles out rather than hitting you. Uh, well done, lad. <laughs> you rack so hard on the knuckles with your sword, he's like, ow! I don't think he can do anything else with his turn. <laughs> nope. I told oh, you guys, it's all right. fine. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, uh, Ren. Okay, I'm gonna take. Uh, she's gonna plunk forward, and taking a shot with a thunder cannon, aim for the rock above his head. Oh. And I'm not trying to dislodge. This is literally a warning shot. Hmm. And I'm literally saying, right. you might want to stop and talk to us. Believe me, it's only gonna get worse for you. <laughs> Gunner just calls out Now how are we going to determine that Hoser does the same thing? <laughs> well the thunder cannon's not aimed so far from me own face <laughs> uh, Let me see what it says about him uh, listen. Okay how to roleplay Lance Rock. <laughs> yeah, no, um, he, he sort of just glares at you as it, it, it almost doesn't seem like he listens to any kind of reason anymore. He's so deluded and wrapped up in this kind of megalomaniacal image of himself that he has that he's 
not listening to any kind of reason. Even okay, with a pirate then. in his face. <laughs> Even with All the right. pirate in his face. Which one? I'll go. Okay then, suit yourself and I'll readjust the aim of the thunder cannon so it's pointing at his face and add a, and literally eyes locked on his just put a new bullet in the cannon and just <laughs> look at him. <laughs> the most intense reload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Morgana, you're up. Awesome. I am going to get right up in his face. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm going to at least try and uh, rip his throat out. I'm going to try <laughs> oh. primal savagery. Oh shit. Oh. That's right, you can have big teeth. Oh my god, Shout so teeth. we have both oh, of them. Uh... <laughs> no, literally, as I, as I storm past, it's just like too many teeth in my mouth. I'm so happy with this right now. <laughs> let's, see if it, let's see if it works. Oh man. What does it do? <laughs> so it gives me very, very sharp teeth and or fingernails. Um, and then I basically just attack with it. Okay, well, melee, 15 will hit. Melee spell attack. Okay, uh, 15 hits for 6 slashing damage as he gets shark bitten. I, he reels back in horror, like... This was not what he was expecting at all, um, but there's nowhere for him to run. He's like stuck between a pirate and a, a, a shark person. Like <coughs> Ren, he yeah. sort of shouts out, "They tried to warn you." <laughs> a shark attack I on land. Style. So with with um with a lovely bite mark he has now and I've probably got some sort of blood dripping down my face oh, yeah. as my teeth shrink back into my mouth I'm going to cast Shillelagh on my staff as a bonus action oh nice Nice. yeah motherfuckers <laughs> okay uh, Shillelagh time return of the wrench okay <laughs> <laughs> okay I think that's your turn isn't it yeah Hephaestus alright well, he is going to take a forward approach as well, and not exactly up in his face, but sort of off to the side beside Hauser. And he's going to sort of lean in and, like, lean against the tapestry, kind of feel it out. And he's going to be like, you know, as you can see, we are quite the adventurous party. And I doubt you want to get more hurt than you already are, given my friend over there kind of just took a chunk out of your throat. <laughs> so, how about this? We'll strike you a deal. You tell us what we want to know. And uh, we won't rip your face off. <laughs> <laughs> Lawful good paladin, everybody. Aww. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't that be intimidation? Yeah, I think it's it would be actually. I mean, it kind of sounds like an intimidation thing in a way. But I could try that. I don't know. I mean, uh, in the sense, persuasion's fine. It's the same bonus anyway. Uh, yeah. You tried to talk sense to him, but you. He has this like crazed look on his face, like he's sweating, his eyes are bulging. He's sort of like, "I will make you all my servants. You will dance for me." <laughs> Kate, what did he taste like? Uh, <laughs> like a, Black licorice. Like, a, uh, <laughs> like did, he, did he taste healthy or did he taste rancid? He, he tastes like he, he's uh, he's a bit malnourished and like he hasn't uh. got enough sleep but in all other respects he's a healthy young human man needs more iron I understand <laughs> needs more iron <laughs> well we have someone who could provide that yeah <laughs> you know it congrats you got a pissed off pirate in your face <laughs> <laughs> alright uh, Hephaestus what do you want to do okay. he's not listening to reason I'm giving you that uh, as a like a bonus action or something. Alright. So uh, that would just be my bonus action then? Uh, yeah, I mean, talking is a free action, but like attempting yeah. to persuade somebody is. I'll give it as a bonus action though, because it seems silly to use right. an action to talk to some, like. Yeah. I feel like you could do something while talking to somebody or like immediately after. True. I was, I was considering that, just kind of. just 
not not really waiting for him to notice it, but just laying my hands on Hauser and doing some cure wounds. All right. Uh, that's really which cure wounds do you have left? Uh. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I was. I yeah. Was cure wounds. I I already I already did my lay on hands before. Yeah. Okay. But cure wounds. I still uh, have one more. So. It's a good job that he that. Uh, Lance Rock did not hit what? with that uh, attack earlier, or you wouldn't have One, been able two. to regain oh. HP. Uh, huh? okay. oh. That's true. What What is that roll? I don't know. I think it's uh, um, if you're trying to hit someone who's an unwilling target. Oh, you you uh, might want to uh, just roll. Yeah, some you have dice. to touch the. Yeah. No, no. If you click on the cu the word "cure wounds" below. It, it'll do that. Wow! Two! <laughs> Two! Healing! Wait, that doesn't seem go. right. Oh, it's because there isn't a damage roll set up for it. Oh. Uh, so whoa, okay. Just the two. You need to roll like d6 or something as well. Yeah, there. It's uh, what is no access to it? Let's see here. Uh, Cure your wounds is 1d8 plus spellcasting. Uh, 1d8 nice. ability modifier. Okay, I believe I already got the two. So, so it's one so, No, that was actually nothing plus his oh. strength bonus. Yeah, so it should be one oh. d eight plus what? What's so your charisma? roll a d eight. One d eight plus your whiz. Yeah. Oh, is it wisdom? Oh yeah. Plus yeah, charisma. Always would be one. Oh wait, no, he's a it's paladin. Charisma. Yeah. 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 Third edition pallies used so wisdom. Three. It was pain in the ass. He's not a cleric. So I just roll the one d eight and then add three to that. Yes. Wait. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Better. Six. Bit better than two. I will take yeah. that. Okay. I'm, I'm, there I'm you like go. Get nine HP. Okay, and with that, Rats. it is Hauser. I'm going to be quite honest, Hef. I've quite forgotten the information we're trying to get from this man. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've kind of forgotten it, too. I mean, I got here late, remember? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm afraid my approach is going to be a bit less subtle. Go for it. <laughs> Damn it! That's <laughs> <laughs> so good! <laughs> and stabbed your uh, sword through a curtain where, okay. where it went ding, 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 against a wall. Well, it was much was less subtle. I was almost proud of I, you. I'm still going to execute the other part of my plan, which is to get uncomfortably close to his face. <laughs> 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 Make it off I'll like you honest. meant to do that. <laughs> it's it's me you want to be paying attention to, lad. The rest of you observe an odd amount of sexual tension going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Between this normal man and this dwarf right in front of him. Leans <laughs> in really, really close. It was a more. It was a more aggressive cabidon. It's so intense. <laughs> Man, you can just practically feel the emotions. <laughs> you can on, but with swords. feel the, the rumble of the ground of the pens of fanfic writers. <laughs> <laughs> they just sense it. They just know. Watch it. Get on it. Get on it. We expect dirty fanfiction yes, by please. next week. <laughs> I was Rex Lance Rock. <laughs> I, so I wanted my desk by Monday. I am so disappointed in Google Image so <laughs> that covet on butt with swords did not result in images that fit. <laughs> Ren, no! Ren, why? We can oh. learn so much from them, Ren! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh God, why is the why is the drop-down menu popping up under my taskbar? I can't pick my character. <laughs> oh wait, I can use the arrow. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Whisper, it's your turn. Uh, Whisper's taking a more direct oh, route. She kind of leans out from behind the curtain and just shoots at him again. Okay, that'll be a sneak attack. I, I was attempting to stab him, not a direct route. <laughs> like, I get I that it didn't trying to work. Extract but... information from this guy. I literally just turned up. <laughs> Alright, 15 will hit. Okay, five, and don't forget your sneak attack. Okay. Eight. As an arrow shoots out of the plush purple curtain to uh, shoot him. 
Uh, all right. Uh, gonna. Uh, well, shit, I had a plan, but this wasn't quite it. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Elzer. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gunner decides he's not gonna get in the middle of all that, and he figures that Hoser's kind of, you know, doing his thing. <laughs> so instead, guess what he's gonna do? He has these javelins he's been carrying around for the Holy longest time. Holy shit! <laughs> Apparently, lucky javelins. Well, a... kind of lucky. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a stunning like four. Roll. <laughs> I rolled a crit, balanced out by two ones. Amazing. For an amazing total of four. <laughs> the lowest possible damage you could have done on a crit. Hey, it hit at least. <laughs> yeah, it, it hit. He threw a spear over Hoser into Lance Rock. It's like, you throw the javelin in this incredible arc over everyone's heads and it's like whoa, everyone watching it and it does hit him on the head but it just kind of goes tink <laughs> and doesn't really do much, it just kind of leaves a scratch <laughs> Those are just kind of grunts that it went through but it did 